What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we're back with brand new WWE action figure news for you guys coming at us. Now, you guys know that we are probably six weeks, seven weeks, something like that, away from WrestleMania or something of that nature. Definitely close to that time frame. I know it's a little bit under two months away from WrestleMania. And at WrestleMania, we are going to be having plenty of reveals, I do believe. They're doing this new thing called WWE World, which is going to be pretty much like an experience type. I, I imagine it's going to be like Access, like the Access used to be. Or whatever, and then they had the Superstore, you know, and then I think that's going to kind of be combined into one place. And then I do believe they're going to have figure reveals and stuff there, hopefully, and maybe we'll get a panel. We'll have to see about all those things, man. But today, we did have some stuff revealed to us. I say all that to say we did have some stuff revealed. We have some stuff coming up, and I wanted to talk about it and, you know, just talk about everything here today, man, with those reveals coming soon. And, man, we do have some brand new action figure news. And for some reason, I feel like we're going to get more today because this is not a ton of stuff we're getting right now. But I feel like either later today or coming up soon, we are going to have like a full gallery, you know, like they like to do month to month. But nonetheless, man, let's shut the hell up. Let's dive into it and get into some new images we have here, man. So the new images we have first. The first thing we're going to discuss, man, is going to be the Ultimate Edition Coliseum Collection. I believe this is series number four now. The two-pack, the Heart Foundation two-pack Ultimate Editions here, man. And these are actually going to be going up for pre-order very, very soon with the WCW Monday Night Nitro ring and the exclusive Ultimate Edition Eric Bischoff figure on Thursday, March 14th at 9 a.m. Pacific. Standard 12 p.m. Eastern Time. Our foundation pack includes two sets of WWE Tag Team Championships, classic silver and gold, as well as LJN toy inspired brown strap versions. This release also marks the exciting return of the black card variants that will ship randomly in order. So, you guys remember the Sergeant Slaughter that also had that? Apparently, that is returning here for this. But mark your calendar so you can be some of the first people to own these two awesome sets. So, we do have the new Coliseum collection Brett the Hitman Heart and Jim the Anvil Nightheart here. Very cool stuff, man. Excited for the pack. Should be really good stuff. The two tone tag titles look sick as hell, but we do have the Coliseum Collection, Bret Hart, and Jim the Anvil Nightheart. Now, we knew about these, you know, I honestly I think the black card looks better than the blue card, but we knew about these for a while. We saw these boy back at San Diego Comic Con, but these do look, those were just prototype versions. These are the, what looks to be, in my opinion, the releases are very close to being the final release products. Now, we've talked about these Bret Hart head sculpts. Not very good head sculpts, right? You know, they are what they are, but you know, these figures actually look pretty quality to me. I'm really excited for the Anvil. You know, we haven't seen him in a while. I think it was a Elite, what, like 74? And I think he was a collector's edition or something like that. So definitely been a minute since we've had a Jim the Anvil Nightheart. And then the Bret Hart figure, it's basically a re-release of the Elite 43, but it does have some new head sculpts. It is another Ultimate Edition Bret Hart, but it's going to have the butterfly joints, all the good stuff going on there, which is cool. I just, man, I, I don't know, man. I just don't think that they, they just struggle to capture Bret Hart's likeness for whatever reason. But these figures do look cool. I am excited for this two-pack and this Coliseum Collection pack. But if I were you, I'd probably pre-order the Eric Bischoff with the the Nitro Ring first. I feel like that's going to sell out quicker than this. So I would definitely lock in your... If you plan on ordering both on March 14th, man, be sure to order... You should order your Eric Bischoff Ultimate Edition Nitro Ring figure and, you know, the ring that, that come together like the Attitude Era Raw is War Ring with Kane. I would order that first before I ordered the Coliseum Collection right here. But it's definitely going to help because there is the black versions, you know, there's the black chase variants with the packaging that could come. So I don't know, it may entice people to order two and what have you. So we'll have to see about that. I know that Sergeant Slaughter on black card goes for, for a decent penny there. So definitely something to look out for, man. But the other thing I wanted to cover and the thing that I think is probably, I thought this was just so sweet, man. We have an upcoming look at the WWE Elite Top Picks 2024 Wave 3 featuring three different superstars right here. Now, first of all, we got to get into the first figure, man. We have the Rey Mysterio from this set. And say what you will, you know, I hate this head sculpt. We've seen this head sculpt so many damn times, man. I mean, it is unreal how many times we've seen this head sculpt. I do believe we have seen this head sculpt since Elite 72 was the first time we saw this head sculpt, and it may have been a little before that, but I do know in the Elite 72 figure, which is a fantastic figure, by the way, and it has been updated. This is pretty much a repaint of previously released, you know, modern day Rey Mysterio figures with that Elite 72 head sculpt, but they used that head sculpt in Elite 72. They used it in Elite 92. They used it on a couple top picks figures, and now they're using it again here. So I really would have liked to seen a better Rey Mysterio head sculpt. I really like the one that came on his last top picks figure. You know that Macho Man Rey Mysterio? I think they used it on that figure. They used it on the Batman top picks Rey Mysterio. 
I do believe that you, there's so many damn top picks Rey Mysterios, man, but this figure right here looks incredible. I love the color palette, the pink, you know, they've done a pink, they've done a couple Rey Mysterios with pink before, and they're doing it again, man. I had a lot of people saying, oh, this is the MDT colorway and stuff like that, but it's, they're not lying. There's a lot of definite resemblances here, but you could, you could take this Rey Mysterio, pair it with some other Rey Mysterios we've seen, and you could really make one, you know, based on the color palette. If you could put that blue in there, that pink, the white, black, and yellow, you could really bring it all together there, but uh, maybe we'll have to play with that on surgery, but I'm def I definitely want to do something like that, but this figure looks amazing. The Rey Mysterio, he even has the shoulder tape, and I know somebody said that this is the first use of sports tape on an Elite, and, you know, that's not completely true, you know, because we did see one back on a Cesaro Elite. I think it was Elite 58. We saw a Cesaro figure with the tape on the shoulder. So it's not the first one, but I do believe this is the first one that has, like, the graphics on it. That I do believe the Cesaro is just black paint on there. This one actually has tape or something actually spelled out on it, and it looks like the medical tape, you know, to help with your shoulder mobility and stuff like that so or I think it prevents your shoulder from extending too far or something I don't know the exact thing the exact premise there but it does help you there makes it feel more secure so you don't you know break your shoulder or come out of line and whatnot and dislocate but the Rey Mysterio looks insane man when you look at the amount of Rey Mysterio figures we've had especially over the last few years when you take into account the top picks and the main elite lines and all these different things man there have been a slew of Rey Mysterio action figures especially in the elite figure form man but this this figure figure looks insane, but I do want to put up a little image here. I don't have it in front of me, but I'm going to try and put them all up next to each other. So I'm just going to put all the Rey Mysterio Elite in the last couple, you know, last few years here. And, you know, look at the boot combinations. Look at the gloves. Look at the head sculpts combinations and maybe some different leg molds and boots and all these different things that you could swap around to really make an ultimate Rey Mysterio with all these different colors. So that's why his figures are so fun to collect. I'd really like to see an ultimate edition in the modern Rey Mysterio, but he also comes with the LWO shirt. And we also have that five pack, that Mattel creation five-pack elite set with Rey Mysterio in his promo gear coming not too far in the future, man. I do believe that is a few months away, obviously, but we do have that coming. So lots of Rey Mysterio on the horizon here, man. But the other two figures in this top picks wave are re-releases, but at least one of them is a damn good one. And it's probably, it was my number three figure of the year last year, man. It is the WWE Elite Series 102 Gunther figure. And it looks so cool. I really wish they could have repainted it and made it black. That way you could have had like a different take on Gunther. But it is a very, very, very good figure, man. Poses around very nice. Can beat the hell out of you. He comes with his entrance robe. Would have been cool to see the IC title as well, but... Of course, this is Top Picks. We, we know the game with Top Picks, man. If you're unaware, Top Picks figures, it's basically you can, basically, you know, you repaint a really good figure is pretty much or essentially what it is, or you re-release a figure that was previously there. And I could have swore, man, I, I don't remember, I guess we do get three or four Top Picks waves a year, but it's just crazy. I feel like we get Top Picks so often, which is very nice. I love it because, you know, you get one or two extra figures in there and they're always of the top talents. So that's always really fun to see there. I know a lot of people don't like the same characters over and over again, and I understand that, but I like it because I collect a lot of the same person. I do like to see these new iterations of different characters, but we do have Gunther there, which is a fantastic figure. And the last one is going to be a re release of Elite 103 Roman Reigns. Man, Roman Reigns has so many damn top picks figures, it's unbelievable. Man has so many, so many top picks figures, but people love to collect his figures. I, you know, I would collect multiples of these, but they don't have the right head sculpt. If they had the right head sculpt and stuff like that, like sometimes these figures go to clear, sometimes they're hanging around Walmart for a really long time, and you can lock them down but yeah it's not it's not anything to write home about it's the elite 103 roman reigns he comes with the blue universal championship which is long gone by now i do believe that we're going to get an updated roman this year at some point so that'll be really nice to see but at this moment this is our top picks wave man we have roman reigns gunther and Rey mysterio the only one really worth of note is Rey mysterio the only change is there but the color palette had a lot of people popping and being like damn that's so sick so that is definitely really cool to see but gunther is also a really great re-release and then roman reigns it is what it is man we'll have to see about that however i do believe that is all the news that we have here today, man. So I do greatly appreciate you guys checking out the video here. But I want to know down in the comment section below what you guys think of these different reveals. And for some reason, I do believe it. Like, why would they just post up this random top picks wave as its own gallery? I don't see them just doing that. So later today, there could be more, you know, more news and things of that nature. So we'll have to just keep an eye out and stuff like that. Make sure your bell notifications on. And we'll cover it here on the channel if that is the case, man. But that is going to wrap up the video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Appreciate all you guys over there of course for your continued support been dropping things pretty regularly over there the last couple of weeks so if you guys are interested in that check that out but i'm getting out of here man thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys i'll see you guys in the next video have a blessed one and i'll catch you later